OCD or obsessive compulsive disorder is the self-developed conditioning of the brain and the body to avoid feeling anxious or out of control. OCD is an addiction to control or a fear of feeling out of control and your manifestation will come from an overtly dominant or a covertly victim perspective. And because you can't control the big things in life, you'll become pedantic and manage the small things to give yourself a fake sense of security. But this will drive everybody else mad. In and of itself, OCD means nothing. Whether your compulsive actions or unsolicited thoughts make you tidy up, wash your hands, count things, clean things, stay at home, hold your breath, fear you'll harm someone, fear the health of a family member, switch the lights on and off, unplug electrical devices, fear Satan, set the remote control only to odd numbers, line everything up, or Google every last ache and pain, these actions and thoughts mean nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And by solely focusing on these compulsions, nothing will change except your problem will morph from one thing to another, from washing your hands to cleaning the toilet. These rituals and thoughts are just something you've unconsciously learned to calm yourself down to avoid the secondary feeling of anxiety and being out of control of the more significant things in life that you know need addressing. To recover, we need to see OCD as the symptom, not the problem. Although, of course, these things you seemingly need to do may cause many other issues in your life. To address OCD, we need to acknowledge that it sits on top of anxiety and you can only release OCD by tackling the underlying fear. And although you may not actually feel that you have anxiety, recognize this, that if you don't do your OCD thing, then you will feel anxious. It's kind of obvious, really. Anxiety is the unconscious release of your natural fear chemicals just at the wrong time, plus a problem of thinking and worrying too much, which exhausts your biology. Along with this, the erroneous conditioning of certain parts of your brain to associate fear to ordinary things in your life. These can all be reprogrammed if you know what to do and you repeatedly retrain your brain and your own biology. Beneath 90% of anxiety are self-esteem and self-worth issues from childhood, which stem from feelings of guilt, shame, shyness, self-consciousness or unworthiness. You are not at fault or to blame about how you are conditioned and you are not responsible for anything except your own emotional well-being in this moment. So by addressing self-worth, being less concerned of how others perceive you, silencing your mind, reprogramming fear responses, anxiety lifts. And then by solving the things in your life that need to be changed, such as jobs, relationships and friendships, the control to control small things lifts. And finally, OCD evaporates and then all you're left with are out-of-date habits. And the course I'm writing explains this clearly and gives you all the methods you need to reprogram yourself into calmness, and then subsequently into happiness. Take a look.